From the dawn of humanity, we have gazed up at the stars, our eyes filled with wonder and curiosity. We have always asked ourselves, are we alone in this vast universe? The universe is vast and filled with billions upon billions of stars each potentially hosting its own planetary systems. Could there be other planets out there like our Earth capable of supporting life? This question has intrigued scientists for generations. This fundamental question drives our exploration of the cosmos, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and technology. Scientists focus on a specific concept in their search for life beyond Earth, the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone. This zone represents a region around a star where conditions might be just right for life as we know it to exist, not too hot and not too cold. Imagine a planet covered in liquid water with oceans, lakes and rivers teeming with potential life forms. This is what we look for, as water is essential for all life forms we know. Without water, life as we understand it cannot exist. The search for habitable zones is a search for the potential for other Earths, for planets that might harbor life and perhaps even intelligent civilizations. It's a thrilling quest that takes us deep into the cosmos, searching for clues to one of the biggest questions of all time. Are we truly alone in the universe? The habitable zone is often called the Goldilocks zone. Just like the fairy tale, it needs to be just right for life to flourish. A planet too close to its star would be scorching hot with any water boiling away into space. On the other hand, a planet too far from its star would be freezing cold with any water locked up as ice. The habitable zone sits between these extremes, a band around a star where temperatures allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. This zone is not a fixed distance, it depends on the star's size and temperature. For example, a small and cool red dwarf star has a habitable zone much closer to it than our sun. A planet in this zone would need to be quite close to its star to stay warm enough for liquid water. In contrast, a massive and hot star would have a habitable zone much farther out. The sheer scale of the universe is mind-boggling. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, contains hundreds of billions of stars, and our galaxy is just one of billions upon billions of galaxies in the observable universe. If each star has a habitable zone, even if it's a narrow band, the number of potential places for life to arise is astronomical. Astronomers estimate that there could be trillions upon trillions of habitable zones scattered throughout the universe. This staggering number suggests that the potential for life beyond Earth is enormous. Of course, having a habitable zone doesn't guarantee a planet will have life, but the vastness of the universe and the sheer number of habitable zones provide a sense of awe and wonder. The possibility, however slim, that we are not alone in the universe is a powerful motivator for continued exploration and discovery. The Life Cycle of Stars and Their Zones The habitable zone around a star is not static. It changes over time as the star evolves. This zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist, which is crucial for life as we know it. Stars, like our sun, go through a life cycle. They start as clouds of gas and dust, which collapse under gravity to form a protostar. Over millions of years, this protostar ignites nuclear fusion in its core, becoming a main sequence star. They are born, they mature, and eventually, they die. The stages of a star's life are marked by significant changes in size, temperature, and luminosity. As a star ages, its brightness and temperature change, which directly affects the location and size of its habitable zone. For instance, a star like our sun will expand into a red giant, pushing the habitable zone further out. For example, our sun is slowly getting hotter. This gradual increase in temperature will have profound effects on the planets within its system. In a billion years or so, the habitable zone in our solar system will shift outwards. This means that planets currently too cold for liquid water might warm up enough to support it. Earth, sadly, will eventually become too hot to support life as we know it. The increasing heat will cause oceans to evaporate and the surface to become inhospitable. Planets that are currently outside the habitable zone, like Mars, might one day find themselves in a more temperate region. This shift could potentially make them candidates for future habitability. Understanding the life cycle of stars and their habitable zones helps us to narrow down the search for life. By studying these cycles, we can predict which stars are most likely to host planets with the right conditions for life. We can focus on stars that are in a stable phase of their lives, where the habitable zone is likely to have remained relatively constant for billions of years, giving life a chance to emerge and evolve. This knowledge is crucial in our quest to find extraterrestrial life.
Exciting Discoveries – Planets in the Habitable Zone In recent decades, astronomers have made incredible strides in discovering planets beyond our solar system, called exoplanets. Using powerful telescopes, both on the ground and in space, they have detected thousands of exoplanets, many of which are rocky, Earth-sized worlds. Even more excitingly, some of these exoplanets have been found within the habitable zones of their stars. These discoveries have fueled the hope that we might one day find evidence of life beyond Earth. One notable example is the TRAPPIST-1 system, a nearby star system with seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are located in the habitable zone. While we don't yet have the technology to study the atmospheres of these planets in detail and look for signs of life, these discoveries are incredibly promising. They demonstrate that planets in the habitable zone are not rare, and they provide exciting targets for future observations. More than just a zone. Other factors for life. While being in the habitable zone is a good starting point, it's important to remember that many other factors contribute to a planet's habitability. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. However, this is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. The presence of liquid water is crucial, but it's not enough on its own to guarantee a planet can support life. Water is the solvent of life as we know it, enabling chemical reactions that are essential for biological processes. Yet without other supporting factors, water alone cannot sustain life. A planet's atmosphere is also critical. The atmosphere not only provides essential gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide but also plays a key role in maintaining surface temperatures. A thick atmosphere can help to regulate temperature and protect life from harmful radiation from the star. It acts as a blanket, trapping heat and distributing it around the planet, which is vital for maintaining a stable climate. The composition of the atmosphere is also important. For example, the presence of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide can have a significant impact on a planet's climate. These gases can create a greenhouse effect, warming the planet to levels that can support liquid water and, potentially, life. Other factors to consider include a planet's magnetic field, which can shield it from harmful solar wind. Without a magnetic field, a planet's atmosphere could be stripped away, leaving it exposed to the harsh conditions of space and its geological activity which can help to replenish the atmosphere and provide nutrients for life. Volcanic activity, for instance, can release gases trapped within a planet's interior, contributing to atmospheric composition and surface conditions. So, while the habitable zone provides a useful framework, the search for life beyond Earth requires a holistic approach, considering a wide range of planetary characteristics. Each factor from water and atmosphere to magnetic fields and geological activity plays a crucial role in creating an environment where life can potentially thrive. The quest continues. The search for habitable zones and the potential for life beyond Earth is an ongoing and evolving field of study. As we develop new technologies and make new discoveries, our understanding of the universe and the conditions required for life continues to grow. The quest to answer the question, are we alone, is one of humanity's greatest scientific endeavors. It drives us to explore the cosmos, to push the boundaries of our knowledge, and to develop new technologies that allow us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. The search for habitable zones is just one piece of this grand puzzle, but it's a crucial piece that captures our imagination and inspires us to keep searching for the answer to one of the most profound questions we can ask. Are there other life forms out there, somewhere in the vast expanse of the universe?